Do not think for one minute that Islam, together with its Sharia, is here in this land today. If it were, you would not see these masters of idol worshippers, these financial elites. You would not have oppression, and most importantly, you will not have usury. Riba essentially means the creation of something or the creation of value out of nothing. Now the best example is none other than fiat currency itself or is known as paper money. Whoever can print money out of nothing, he can surely rule the world. Riba or usury allows for the funding of the destructive world wars we are experiencing today. Riba also puts entire nations in debt. It makes the rich richer and the poor poorer. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his prophet have declared war against riba. Allah says in Surah Al-Baqarah, verse 278 and 279, O you who believe, forsake what's left of riba. If you are believers, if you do not, then take notice of a war from Allah and his prophet. In Islam, the worst sin undoubtedly is shirk and kufur. But its this mo- its most destructive weapon today is none other than riba itself. Islam begins with the declaration of faith. One must say the shahada. I bear witness there is no god, only Allah and Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him is the messenger of Allah. The key word here is witnessing. The witnessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the witnessing of his creation, his signs. It is to see the creator in the creation. And to bear witness that Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is the prophet of Allah means to live by the sharia. The sharia is a law of Allah given to Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam to ensure and preserve the health of the individual and society. This also can be called as fiqh. Open the books of fiqh. You'll find that one third of it is on ibadah or worship. The other two thirds of the deen, which are not taught in the mosques today, is muamala. Ibadah is the worship of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala through rituals, for example, like salah, hajj, and fasting. Whereas uh, al muamala is the worship of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala through our daily dealings with other human beings. Muamala consists of five pillars. The first pillar of muamala is to use real money, commodities with intrinsic value. The second pillar of muamala is rent-free and open markets. The third pillar of muamala is business contracts of kirat and shirkat. The fourth is craftsmanship through guilds, and the fifth is to expand businesses through moving caravans. Now zakat, a pillar of Islam, can only be paid with ain, which means tangible, real commodity with intrinsic value. It can't be paid. With dime, which means debt. This is the dinar, and this is the dirham. Now this is real money. The difference between this and paper money is that in this you will have intrinsic value. The value of it is in the money itself. Try tearing a paper money. You will find it. The value is lost. Try breaking this coin. Both of it are still gold. Thousand four hundred years ago, you can buy a sheep. With one dinar, and now you can still buy a sheep with one dinar. With this coin, there is no need for any exchange rate. You can use the same coin in any parts of the world. If the Muslims pay their zakat with real money, then poverty will be a rarity. Our purpose as Muslims is basically to establish the deen, and how do we do it? Is to re-establish these things called muamala. The ummah of Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam must revive what is dead. We need to bring back halal currency. What is halal is possible, and in it we will find victory. At the end of the day, what we want is the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa taala. The Muslim ummah must unite again as one ummah with one currency.